Okay, round two. Yeah, this is a slam dunk keep. It's actually a pretty insane hand. We have now potential for turn four Windrider Patrol. Yeah, this hand is insane. Drifter into Sky Spawner into Patrol would be pretty amazing. Alright, looks like we're going to be able to live that dream. Fertile Thicket. Have a soft spot for that card. Opponent finds a forest. Alright. Looking for lands. A little bit more underwhelming with the Fortified Rampart, considering we already have a Tide Drifter, but that's okay. Turn 4 Wind Rider Patrol is going to be a big deal. Stalwart, no problem. Thank God for the old Tide Drifter. All right, let's get in with Mr. Sky Spawner. And then play Mr. Windrider Patrol. All right, not good enough. Pilgrim's Eye, also nice. Probably just want Noyendar, though. Why don't we Windrider Patrol Scry first, though, huh? Get a better idea of what we're dealing with here. Ooh, yeah, Rush of Ice is going to be the spicy one we're looking for, so let's bottom that and top this. Play a land, play a Noyandar, and pass. Now we can Rush of Ice, split, or consolidate. And opponent's got to do something pretty spicy here. Could have sheer drop, I guess. Rot Shambler, not good enough. Nor is Felidar Cub. So let's just Rush of Ice to Drew Stalwart. He has blue. Which means maybe splitting the Noyandar counters could be better for us. I think I'm going to split it. Just avoids. All right. Opponent's had enough. So, Bant. With some odd choices, Felidar Cubs, kind of a lackluster card. Rot Shambler is a good card, but not in this kind of archetype. This this card tends to shine in, well, he could still have some tokens, I guess. Tends to shine in a token-based deck, um, black-green in particular. But, I mean, in mono-green, you've got the Scions and the, the Eyeless Watcher, so certainly fine. Uh, Smite, I think we can keep in for now. Well, yeah, I mean... With Retreat to Kazandu, especially. I guess to Drew Stalwart outside of Retreat to Kazandu is not a target that it can help with. But Pona could also be running the Flyer Elf, in which case Smite's going to be pretty nice for that. All right, I, I think we'll keep Smite for now. It's more exciting than Anticipate. Probably Spell Shrivel. We'll just try this again.
yeah, the sand is just fine. Opponent mulls to five. Opens with Fertile Thicket. Finding something. Plains. Okay, so it looks like we're on the the old Tide Drifter Retreat to Emeria Ghostly Sentinel plan. All right, well, I have a nice answer for your snapping gnarled. Ooh, Coast of Discovery was a good draw. Swell of Growth is, I guess, acceptable. Not going to. Not going to play around it. I don't have a 0-5 blocker for nothing. So I can play, actually, Coastal Discovery to, uh, tomorrow. I can play it tomorrow. Coastal Discovery. Uh, the reason is because I can always go retreat into land. Like, next turn I can play retreat, but it doesn't do anything. But I guess holding off on Coastal Discovery is probably wiser. Let's just go retreat into Ghostly Sentinel next turn into Coastal Discovery. Okay. Ooh, well, new plan. So we go to this, we get a dude. Play this dude and pass. So I, think, I feel like we're more likely to just want Ghostly Sentinel next turn. It's just another flyer. Sandstone Bridge. Um, yeah, it makes more sense now. So let's go Bridge. Let's get a dude. Get this dude. Um, we can bottom both of these. Got better stuff going. Ghostly Sentinel. Pass. Now next turn we get to go Coastal Discovery. Pump Team, possibly. Or maybe just Adverse Conditions. Um, yeah, I guess we can just adversely condition my opponent. Plus pump team. Yeah, it's probably insane enough. Get in for nine.
Yep. Tide caller is going to come. I can cast Coastal Discovery now. Not really necessary, I guess. I mean, I can get it back with Tide Caller, but whatever. I can get it back later with Tide Caller, too. Opponent's pretty dead here, so they got to do something good. Wait, did I forget to attack with Tide Drifter? I did. I pumped team, and then I like did one less damage. That wasn't smart. Okay. Opponent is still very dead. I believe. Um, yeah, they are. So we go landfall, pump team. This time I'm going to remember to attack the Tide Drifter. Wait. Oh, I could have awakened first. All right. Couple screw ups, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I didn't have enough lands to do that. But it turned out not to matter. Alright, well, we beat a Mulda 5. Opponent put up a good fight for a Mulda 5. Uh, but I guess he run into that problem. Some, he had the Fertile Thicket, so for fixing. But I was gonna say, with Converge decks, you do definitely run into. Mana issues do happen, but Exert Influence is strong. Sheer Drop's good. To Drew Stalwart's good. So I think opponent's deck was just fine. Um, we just drew really nuts, and I guess we weren't even that nuts this game, but our opponent had to mull the five, which is debilitating. So understandable that they couldn't put up a good enough fight. Um, all right, we'll see you in the finals.